Jump cut. The jump cut. 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 From films to music videos, jump cuts are used more often than you might think. In one form or another, they're everywhere. Jump cuts aren't always a bad thing. It all depends on the vibe and message you're going for. But the question is, what is jump cut? A traditional jump cut involves removing a portion from the middle of a continuous shot, and the two ends are sliced back together, that makes it feel like jump in time. Let's jump into the 12 best tricks to hide jump cuts like a pro. Shoot with at least two cameras from different angles. In editing, cut between these angles to cover jump cuts and maintain visual interest. If possible, you can use multiple camera angles as well. If you don't have close-up shot, you can shoot in 4K and scale up. For example, you can cut this clip. With second clip selected from effect controls panel, you can increase the scale value in order to maintain same eye line between shots. In preview screen, by pressing Ctrl or Command R, let's bring ruler. You can simply drag horizontal guideline and reposition the subject within the frame to create a subtle visual difference that distracts from the jump cut. We shall defend our island whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall... Overlay some B-roll footage or image while your voice continues. This not only hides the cut, but also adds visual variety and context to the video. You can place graphic overlays, a quote, a quick fact, or animated titles over the jump cut. You want to think of your stories in the exact same way. You have an initial conflict or contrast moment. It rises, it peaks, you release. J cut or L cut is when the audio edit doesn't match the video edit. In this example, you continue to hear the audio once the visual has already changed that is a L cut. Conversely, you start to hear the audio before the visual has changed. This is a J cut. As you can see, on our timeline, L cut creates L shape, whereas J cut creates J shape. This is one of my favorite. Do you know that girl? Scott, what? Time your cuts with motion, movement, or gesture, such as a hand wave, head turn. So the jump cut feels like part of the motion and is less jarring. Or you can be more creative with a blink of an eye. This one is flashy and a bit tricky. You can use a shape, subject, graphics, or movement to mask the transition. I've already posted the complete tutorial on this topic. If you're interested, you can check out. Take a look at this clip. Then I woke up. Did you notice anything? With every beat, there's a subtle shift in the visuals. When done right, this creates a beautiful rhythm that makes your video flow effortlessly. Line up the end of one clip and the start of another with similar framing or movement. You can look at some of the demo. For more details, you can check out this video. Watch this closely. Can you spot any jump cuts? Maybe not at first glance, but there are actually some invisible cuts hiding in there. 
The film 1917 runs for about two hours, which appears to be one long uninterrupt shot. But of course 1917 isn't really one shot. Some editing tricks are used to stitch together to look continuous. Morph cut is like CGI for your face. Head over to effects panel and search for the morph cut. Simply drag and drop in between these cuts. It'll take few time to analyze and blends to similar frames to make it look like the cut never happened. It only works best when head position and lighting are similar. Similarly, you can use cross dissolve effect to achieve fade in or fade out transitions between clips to soften the cut. You can also use other built-in transitions such as gradient wipe. Sometimes, the best way to hide a jump cut might be not to hide it at all. Instead, turn it into a style. Add a digital glitch, a whip pan, or a whoosh sound to make it feel intentional. Let me know in the comments if you've any other tricks that you used to cover your jump cuts. And also drop down your favorite one from this list.